Well, this thing ru runs quite wickedly with a uh, force drafted exhaust. There we have a little 70 millimeter muffin fan. Our exhaust temperatures are about 100 degrees. Our combustion temperatures. Exhaust going in here. And near peg in the meter. We've got water coming in at about 120 degrees, 115 degrees. So there's only about five degrees not being captured by the uh, heat exchanger here. And the water leaving. 165 degrees. Nice 50 degree delta T or so, anyway. And they got some crackling and boiling at the top of it. Heats enough to be discoloring the stainless slightly. Nice little gravity fed wood pellet boiler. Force draft induced. By the time we hit the chimney exhaust here, 100, and 100 degrees, it's no problem to leave your hand on it. None at all. Don't touch that though. It's wicked hot. <laughs> nice little Suamavator boiler going on here. Powered by 12 volts, so this thing would easily self power with a thermoelectric generator. The amp draw is right next to immeasurable that little fan, but that force induction really is it burning quite wickedly. Oh, you can see we got some condensate there. That's how cold the exhaust is. Condensing boiler. Wood pellet condensing boiler. Again, this thing only reads to 900 here. Let me toggle a couple things there. So we got right around 500C coming out. Four hundred and fifty C coming out. Going into the boiler tube, we got hundred C coming out. You're boiling with that crackling. Got fifty C going in. Exhaust is 40. So almost all the heat, other than the temperature of the water itself, is being captured. Huh. 
100 degrees as well within that little muffin fan's operational parameter. This thing's chunking right along, adding a lot of kilowatt hours to our boiler, to our batteries, hydronic loop. I like it. Put a pretty, pretty casing on it, and uh, there we have it. Fairly miserly with fuel.